Hey guys, happy Sunday! I am actually going to drag out the intro just a little bit longer tonight than I normally do simply because um, I took Tuesday and Thursday off from doing my live videos. Well, I wouldn't say I took off. I was working, but I didn't do lives on Tuesday and Thursday. So I am back in the saddle tonight coming to you live on Sunday night as I do every single Sunday night right here at 6 p.m. Central. So as you guys going to hop on, if you want to share this video out really quick so we can get more people on, like I said, we took a few days, um, our schedule got a little messed up last week, so we're going to let some people hop on tonight as we share out with you some important tidbits to start off your week the right way. Let's get your mindset in the right place, and we are going to cover one question that I'm asked all the time tonight. So we're going to do that as soon as we get some people on. So if you want to share this video out, you could do that right now, right? Share it in the comments below. My name is Amy Smith Hightower. I'm a ketogenic meal planner and mentor from Batesville, Arkansas, who has lost over a hundred pounds following the ketogenic diet since March of 2017. And we have built a totally free keto community of 185,000 members. Yes, 185,000 members who have lost over 2 million pounds combined. How exciting is that? Hope you guys are having a fantastic weekend. It's a beautiful weekend in Arkansas. It is warm, but it is absolutely beautiful. What did you guys do this weekend? Drop me some comments and let me know what you guys did this weekend, what you have upcoming week. I know we're going to have some awesome things going on. I'm sure you guys are super excited about. Um, I did see that NASCAR let um, had a few fans in the stands today, which is close, close. Maybe we're headed back to um, sports. I'm a huge baseball fan and I really, really wish they would get to some kind of negotiation for some major league baseball. I am missing my Cardinals um, tremendously this summer, especially just coming out through like the past two weeks around my birthday and June is usually all about the Cardinals around here. So hope you guys are having a great weekend. Okay, we're going to dive in. Let's talk about it. Let's just address the elephant in the room, right? Which is more important? Diet? or exercise. Give me some feedback in the comments below. I'm open to hearing your suggestions, to hear what you think, um, but I'm going to tell you what I know, what I think, and why I think it. How's that? Like, I'll just throw it all at you. But which is more important, diet or exercise? By the way, I do a t-shirt of the day every day over on my Instagram, which is like my happy place, like getting to do my t-shirt of the day. I pretty much will be doing red, white, and blue t-shirts um, pretty much the rest of the month, all the way into the 4th of July, I think our country. And I know I have people from all countries on here watching, but I think our country, our state, everything needs some patriotism to stand behind. I have a very, I mean, to stand behind. I mean, guys, um, I, I'm, I'm going to get some hate for this and that's okay too, but on both ways. But, um, I am very adamant in the fact that, um, my brother-in-law is a police officer. I have great friends that are in, um, law enforcement. I have massive respect for law enforcement and, just a lot of prayers going out for everyone involved in these situations that we're seeing escalate um, time and time again. So just wanted to do that really quickly just to say that, um, the I mean, everyone needs prayers right now for everything that's going on all the way across, all the way in every area. So I um, hope that's what I was going to say on that. But what's more important, diet or exercise? Okay, which one? Diet or exercise? Guys, I know this is going to be a hot topic debate, but here's the deal. You can't outwork your fork. You can't. You physically cannot outwork your fork. Now, and it drives me crazy to hear someone say, like, they will post a picture on Facebook of their, let's say, of their, of a, um, of a cake or a cheesecake or a big meal, etc. Okay, let's say that you post that on your Facebook, right? And you say, Oh, it's okay, I'll run an extra lap at the gym tomorrow. Okay, that extra lap at the gym 
might burn off the calories, but what it didn't do was it didn't help your blood sugar that just skyrocketed because you ate that sweet, right? Absolutely, absolutely, okay? Absolutely, it didn't help your blood sugar. It didn't help your insulin resistance. It didn't help all of those things. So when you when you go to justify your what you're putting in your mouth by saying, oh, I'll just work it off, that's not how it works, guys. Your health is 90, well, I, they say 80, 20. I'm gonna say 90, 10. I'm gonna say 90% what you put in your mouth. Like we're doing a 30 day movement challenge over at Push For Your Better, which by the way, if you're not in Push For Your Better, just drop push in the comments below and we'll get you the link over um, to join us. We are doing a 30 day, 30 minutes a day movement challenge at Push. Guys, I'm not opposed to movement. I'm not opposed to exercise. I think those are absolutely great, okay? However, it's not more important than your diet. What you put in your body is so, 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 so critical to every single thing that you do in your life. I mean, it affects your gut health. It affects all of those things, right? All the things. So to me, and this is why I say this, to me, I mean, because what you put in, you might can burn off the calories, but you can't burn off the effects of what it does to you. You can't burn off, like I said, the blood sugar spikes. You can't burn all those things off. So you know what? Yeah, you can run through your carbs and, sh and your um, sugars faster if you exercise and burn it off. Absolutely, you can. However, it does not help your blood sugar. And that is the secret to good health. I'm telling you that right now. Good health is what you put in your body. So I'm gonna do things a little different tonight. What I would love for you guys to do in the comments below right now is tell me what is one tip you would give somebody to have the best week ever on this upcoming week. I feel like we all need some positivity. We all need some massive good words, some good news, all in the comments um, kind of below. So drop us a comment. Let us know what your number one advice would be to have a good week ahead. If you're not over in Push For Your Better, please drop Push in the comments below and we will see you on the inside at Push For Your Better. Have a fantastic rest of your weekend and week, guys. And I will see you on the inside.